Welcome to my first playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, previously, we did a lot of uh, like exploration with uh, John. I nearly called him Jack again. And what I did was I explored this like bottom side of the map. We went into a Blackwater where like everything started. Um, and while exploring, I stumbled upon a few, not few, but this like one NPC that we're going to go back to. I don't want to rush the main quest too much. So I was doing a bit of exploration. I really want to check up on people in um, Wapiti. And also, I apparently have another quest that was not really marked on the map. But we have to speak to this, like, scientist guy. Uh, the bright, bouncy boy. <laughs> or a bouncing boy. And we have to go to his laboratory, but it was never highlighted. So that was kind of confusing to me. So we're going to go here and just like check what he wants because I was very surprised I thought his quest would be highlighted but it is not so oh, oh we girl. also um helped Sadie and she is apparently a bounty hunter now and she told us she that she heard something about Micah so, I'm just waiting for my queen <clears throat> to give me some more information <laughs> about Micah, so we can actually take care of him. Ooh. Why are you doing this? Also, guys, I hope the sound like balance and everything is fine. I changed things up a little bit on OBS because the game felt really loud. Um, and the microphone was really low, so I think I think this should be a bit better. Oh wait, there are some dead NPCs over here. Hello. Oh. Someone's coming. Someone's coming. Uh, let's get it. the heck man can i if i loot these guys am i gonna get bad like karma or am i gonna find a message on them oh okay no mm -hmm. i thought i would find some kind of a message like you know when you see the corpses and you loot them and you get like a i don't know a backstory as to how they died that's what i thought would happen Oh well, it's okay. It's just one. It's just one minus. You're a good man, John Marston. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, really up his reputation and everything. I don't know if we can max it out though, but I'm gonna try. Bonk. Thank you. There's my girl. Let's see if there's a mission here. Hello. Professor. Oh my god, what happened? Where's your creation now? I got an achievement called Artificial Intelligence. Wait, did I do something wrong? Why? Or is, is this his like ending? Or did I do something wrong? Oh, it's his ending. Damn. I thought I didn't like help him with Arthur fully and then this is how he ended up. That's so sad. 
<laughs> Mori's AI confirmed. I have no idea what you are talking about. Fifteen years. Take over world? Become a very rich man? These are my... Um, like hopes and dreams as well. Have five million subscribers. Become a very rich woman. Buy 50 Lamborghinis. Yes, that's my dream. I wonder if he left a note or something. Anything else? <laughs> Poor guy! Oh man! <laughs> this is not what I wanted to stumble upon on this fine fine day okay let's go to uh what bt i want to check what's happening in there down 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 by the river <laughs> Oh, he wrote something in the journal. Wait, I'm, I'm curious. His drawings and like handwritings are so, so different from Arthur. Arthur or someone or something had killed the professor. His mechanical creature had been stolen. Maybe the mechanical creature killed him. Oh my God. <gasps> and the, the the achievement was called like artificial intelligence or something so what if it just became alive okay we need what pt what pt what pt Yeah, you can kind of, you know, see that Arthur was a lot more artistic with his, like, everything, <laughs> really. His handwriting, his little sketches, it's so cute. Oh my god, Piso! Can I keep the straight line? Wait, that is so true! Oh, so he like, okay, yeah, wait, that is so true. Hold on. Damn. Is Cat misbehaving? Uh, she's just making demonic songs. Oh, the Native Americans are gone? Oh damn. The buildings even have have like vines and moss because they've been gone for a while, I guess. I don't know if these buildings had them before, but I guess it symbolizes that they have been gone for a while. Let's go and do this. I met this guy called Evelyn Miller. I didn't know Evelyn was like a man's name, I guess back in the day. There are a few names like that. But apparently I looked this up because uh, John said that he was like his friend was a fan of Evelyn Miller because he, he's a writer. And when I looked it up, apparently Dutch um, really enjoyed his books or something. So we are going to just meet him and do a quest for him. It was just one of those random encounter 
quests, so. Be good, girl. How you do? I really like this I building. It's so pretty. Because we're after that outlaw on the wall there. What are these last names? Hermann Zizendorf. With your mustache. Okay. Is it dead or dead or alive? Detention? Or, okay, so we cannot kill him. Mm, go away. Where is this guy? Fella's been going into construction yards in the night, taking tools and the like. All kinds of folks is angry about this one, right up to City Hall. Standing in the way of progress, they say. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> now we get the location. Zeisendorf, is it? That's how he says it. I thought he was a nice feller, respectable. The Germans usually are, but not this one. <laughs> Hi, Ray. You know the man? I do. Caught him selling stolen tools. And I was persuaded he'd been had. We're sure we've got our man now, though. And we're sure he'll strike again. Okay. I'm glad. Because I ain't never sure of anything. Oh, uh, thanks for the information. Don't get carried away now. We're hoping to see that one with some color in their cheeks. Oh my god, this guy looks kind of creepy. He looks like... He looks like he's wearing a face. You know? Yeah, I was so confused. Cause I, I don't know why, I thought they would like zoom in from another angle on his face maybe, like him, cause I imagined him smiling onto the sunset or the sunrise and like when he just stopped breathing, I, it, it clicked like, oh, wait, he, he died. <laughs> like, wait, no. <laughs> Cause you know what I thought? Uh, the Blackwater zone, this area was still red. So I thought that we could get to the point with Arthur of exploring this area. Because, like, how did they make an entire zone, but we have never explored it, but he's dead. So that's why it was so confusing. And then, oh, wait, the, the game is over. Hold on. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Hello, welcome. <laughs> Time flies. Anything? But yeah, it was um, it was a very sad realization, you know. No, come back. At the very oh my god. So Jesus. Oh well, the cat no. Cat. <laughs> That's how you praise the cat. Hello, cat. Can I pet it? Please, let me pet it. You can pet dogs. Why can't you pet cats? Zero out of ten. Refunding. Uninstalling.
What's going on in there? Huh? I got you, Zeisendorf. I've been framed. Hey there. You want to take a bullet for a petty crime? Stop! Right. There is no crime. Damn it! Don't squirm now. Heavens above! Heavens above! Let's make sure you can't run off anywhere else. You really don't need to do that. Uh, pick him up. Yoink. Come on, man. be gentle. You know how he sounds like? Father, when, <laughs> when do I get to be on my own? I got a whole world to see. The indignity. Uh, think about it. Did you really see anything? It was dark, many shadows. The frame of the building was in your way. It was like taking something, me, a respectable fellow, an upstanding citizen, or was I tying my shoe? He sounds like Dutch. Is on the prosecution, and if you give false testimony, that might be a civil matter. This is the police station. <laughs> you might need a rest. This is an embarrassing mistake. My good name will be ruined. Shut it. Caught this one dead to rights, didn't I, Mr. Zeisendorf? Mr. Chief, I took a wander through construction. It's a mistake. Enough of you. Put that German in the cage. Innocent until proven. Quiet. <laughs> you got your man, and here's your money. If only they was all like this. A crime is a cr I saw that. You were paid to give false testimony. But this won't hold up in court. Oh my god. The evidence is purely circumstantial. Only 30. Armin, will you quiet yourself? 30 baccaroonies. Let's go, guys. You got this, girl. $30? Okay, I'm gonna go here now. We will do this Evelyn quest. And then we can do the main one. Unless another quest opens up again. Like always. 30 whole schmeckles! Wait, I need to use that word. Schmeckle? Hello? Gamers? <gasps> Wait... When I went to um, Armadillo, I think it was in Armadillo, there was some kind of a plague, like a disease, and there was a couple packing their bags and leaving armadillo is this the couple oh no because it was a man and a woman just like this that is so sad My, my, the reticent cowboy. Hello. I, you never told me your name. Jim. No. John Marston. Which? John Marston. <laughs> Long story. I'm a writer. I love Which? stories. Uh, another time. Guess I'm as big a fraud as you claim to be. I'm trying, John. My wife didn't understand. Doesn't understand. The parish priest has taken to writing me missives about the exact nature of my sins. The parish priest! Can you imagine? Oh, what a petty-minded lot they are. I was attracted by my fraudulent fame, by the idea of me as some kind of provincial seer. Oh, it makes me sick. But here, I live like a man. I'm feeble, but alive. <laughs> I'm a man! For the first time in my life, I'm a man. Okay. Or... 
I'm still a coward, but a real man would happily die rather than live as I do. Uh, I don't know about that. We... <laughs> we're all scared of something. Something within us. But me, I'm nothing but fear. Fear and doubt and lies. Just Aww. a glimpse of how other men have coped and lived and survived and flourished. There are days when I sit here and weep about all the things that I've lost. I mean... We've lost. We true Americans. We peasants. We are killing this place, John Marston. Killing what? This. This great beauty. This truth. What are you talking about? <laughs> Come. Let me show you. Where are we headed? Prepare to be shocked. He reminds me of Patrick Star. Arthur was like SpongeBob. Come along. And he's Patrick, me. I feel like, in, in this me situation. Butt, you should know. <laughs> I'm not so easily shocked, Mr. Miller. But you will be. Wait until you see the waste, the boundless appetites of these men. I know you will be horribly shocked because I see that frontier spirit in you. The self-reliance, the harmony with nature that us, us modern men have so lamentably lost. I hate to spoil your impression of me, but I've been known to eat from a can just as often as... Oh no, up there, the poor creature is caught in a bear trap. John, can you do something? Uh, let me see. The cruelty of it. Oh, here. If you could pry it open, it may recover. Yeah, yeah, um... Stay calm. We did, like, tell him that we had a friend limbs, who I'm afraid was his fan. Those contraptions. They are unforgiving yeah. and indiscriminate. You did it! It's free! Run. A second chance at life. He's so dramatic, Maybe. I love it. As long as that wound don't go bad. I mean, he's Still, an artiste, so... Better to die free than in the jaws of a machine. <laughs> now, come on. We have further to ride. Come on! The men I'd like to show you. They could have set that trap. Hunters? I've seen Skinners, hunters, sir, and maybe? Like I said, I've been one myself. Hunting for food or skins is one thing. But dredging rivers, burning out forests, killing everything you find and leaving all but the most valuable parts to rot. That is who these men are. They are the rapaciousness of our financial markets let loose in the wilderness. And a sign that our way of life has come to an end. My horse is huge, by the way. Damn. You men are heathens! Ignoble savages! Animals! Shit, look! Look at what What's you- What's your problem? You! You! Uh, oh. Hey! Oh. You're gonna regret that. You tougher than your pal there? Okay, hold on. I need I need to go back a little bit. I need more space. I had worse. Ow, ow, ow. Not all three of them. Okay, one. This is so hard on a keyboard, you guys. Okay, there we go. Now we can... Ooh! Ooh! Can I eat something real quick? Or... block of cheese or the <laughs> the roll of cheese 
That... that was clarity, John. <laughs> this... this place... this... this heaven and hell. The duality. I think you got hit on the head. Come on, let's get you out of here before more of them show up. But... I think we've made our point. Now, come on, let's go. I wonder how John got his scar. West Elizabeth Bank. Hello. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can I can I help Officer. you? Officer. Yeah. Hello there. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Hi. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound uh -oh. too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. With Arthur's hat, yes. I'm a very you know sentimental what, person, I guess. <laughs> I had to wear his hat. Okay, so we are going here. Hmm. What are we gonna do about this? Hello. Look like how the town is built into the mountains. Yeah, it's really you, pretty. Ooh. Hi. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <coughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Give money? Intimidate? I'm not gonna give them money. But I also don't want to intimidate them. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's see where this goes. Look. Take some money. Ten dollars. Yeah, Go try fine. and find somewhere else to stay. You for real, friend? Sure, take it. <laughs> You're a real gentleman. Okay, boys, let's go celebrate. <laughs> that work? Thanks, mister. Aww. I thought they would attack me or something, get offended. You killed them all? I mean, you know, they, they don't have money. 
to go anywhere, which is why they are here, so... You know, almost at the best place. Ooh, I like this melody. Ah, it's you! The man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Mm-hmm. We got paperwork ASMR. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> what the hell they is own a me. kilometer? They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. I'm <laughs> just joking. I wonder what, what well, his scar is. It is you. Uncle? Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Uh, dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. <laughs> oh, crap. No, for real. Oh, my God. Well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come, too. No, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. This is gonna sound so bad, but when you guys told me that he has lumbago, I genuinely thought you guys were memeing on me, like ligma. Yeah, Mary, he has ligma. That's what. That's why his back hurts. I thought that name was like made up. <laughs> Evidently, oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> you gonna mount up or... Follow me. Yes, I'm here. Hello. Let's go. Partner? Just be on your way. Scar from a wolf attack when you save him and... Oh, yeah! Wait, really? Yeah. Bad thing? No. Hello. Yeah, it's Where it's a very at? like west, west. Oh God, I ain't even man a few words. Chill, Melody. I can I see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I see. I always liked well, Uncle. Now, I don't know. Are like, we headed, you he was part of our very like one of the first quests. I thought he was really goofy. I like him. Am grunting fool. This ranch, I. A ranch He's I uncle. bought just now. <laughs> Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You no one knows can't his run name. From a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh, her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? No, no. Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. 
<laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Also, um, that reminded me about like his scar and stuff that he got in the beginning. I was thinking about this the other day. Do you guys think, because like now that we finished the game, like I was thinking back on previous quests and everything, but in the very beginning, like he is left, John is left in the cold, like in the middle of nowhere and no one is looking for him. And then like you and I think Char uh, Charles go to look for him, right? So do you think that Dutch kind of left him? Javier, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, no one was really looking for him other than us. And it, it kind of made me think about Dutch. Like, did he? Was that on purpose? Oh, oh, oh. What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh, yeah, you are right. Yeah, I don't remember Whoa! that part. Okay, I thought it was Arthur's initiative to look for him. But I guess I was wrong. Oops. Hmm, without saying anything. Ah. Okay, okay. Like go to the little dots or this is it. Look at her. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? Hey. For Abigail? Why? Is she an Why idiot? Why is everyone no. saying that? What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we gonna farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. Oh my god, maybe we can get all the family together and we can all work at the farm? But, like, it's not gonna be a gang, but... Good, Katty. I'm having so much fun. It's gonna be <laughs> mafia. Family. John has a plan. If they, uh, they're alive or stumble upon their grave, if they're dead, keep an eye. Oh my god. How would I know that it's their grave? Does it have a name? Ooh. Um, is it scripted who dies and who survives? Or does it have to do anything with my decisions? Okay. Because yeah, I was wondering if that was an RPG element. Working hard. <laughs> this ain't until hey, dawn. It's the lumbago. I have I overdo it. I, I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. You can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? 
Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> Get up! Ow! Oh my god, no, don't hit him. I'm he has back love. problems. Oh, no, what, what did I have to tell you? I went into town. And, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit. Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I Thank you so much for the sound. Frog, the thank sound you. Of it not doing too good neither. Thank you so much. I love Charles. He's one of my favorite characters. Charles and Hosea. Those were good guys. Here we are. Come on, let's get off. All right. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. <sighs> All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <clears throat> Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slump. Now, nah, how about I take the saloons? And you take the slumps. Also, um, like on a topic of the lore and stuff, I also searched this and I discovered that apparently Micah was a spy after, um, like the, the Guantan Guantanamo quest, um, when we went to Cuba or something. And... I thought that he was a spy since the very, very beginning, the Blackwater, because everything kept going wrong. But apparently he wasn't, so I'm very confused. I wonder if they had a second rat after when he was arrested. Oh, wait, I thought it was after, like, the whole ship thing. I think, yeah, so, because the, something happened in Blackwater that went wrong and then they had to flee up here. So I thought it, this was because of Micah, but if he wasn't a rat, then... And it had to be someone else, which is confusing. You wanna, yeah, um, yeah, his voice is very familiar, so I kind of, I noticed, I noticed him. Yeah. Oh, it's this here. Wait, is it in this building? Oh! Wait, <laughs> I didn't see the horse. Oops. You Sorry. Watch where you going. This horse is like a Spider Man. Bonjour. How can I help you today, sir? Listen, you seen a big Indian fella? Huh. Indian? Yeah. A boxer. No. Sorry, mister. No. Actually, yes. He, I think he's fighting, I believe. Fighting out behind St. Saturnine. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem. You guys better not have any more slaves in the basement. Enjoy the fight! Oops. Oh dear. Woo! Hello. 
The only mission that included uh, a rat before was Saint Denis bank robbery, and there is a theory that either Abigail or Hosea told the Pinkertons that. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, because I thought that was also Micah. He murdered his friend from the old gang. That's how they went about Micah. Hmm. You also checked the basement when I came back here. I can see it more being Abigail than Hosea. I don't think it would be him. Hmm. That guy's the worst. I know. He's very stinky. <laughs> Have you guys seen? Hold on. Have you guys seen those like uh, Mike uh, memes of him being a rat? Wait. Like, like these kinds of memes? Well, if it isn't Black Lung and it's just like him. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. All white to know who not Wait. to shoot. Oh, oh my god, you are right. Ready and wait. It makes so much sense now. And better. Big brain. Good morning. I really want to like replay this game just privately so I can like just Take my time, but I cannot handle Arthur Arthur's death again, and I feel so bad because replaying it would also, like knowing what I know now, I could pay more attention to things, and it would be so interesting. But I cannot handle this pain. <laughs> what took you so long? Oh, good lord! I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. Asked that first barman I met, and he told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not one of life's great yes, mysteries, it turns surprise, out. <laughs> but they hate a massacre, and you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He's not a killer. Come on. You don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of, just, I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So? So, let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. Pegged? What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Bet on Charles? Again? No, I'm gonna bet on him. Ladies sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you. An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Ooh. Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Injun Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, lone wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. 
Let's have a good fight, boys. <laughs> this is Let's so keep dramatic. Clean, but not so clean. Get him, Charles! Get him! Come on, Lone Wolf. Better get you the hell out of here. Hey, Lone Wolf! Whoa! How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. Here's your share, partner. If we just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. Now I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? I'm uh, cool. Just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. I feel Come like on. I feel like Uncle is always up to something. Like he is a lot smarter than people think he is. But he's playing dumb, so no one asks any questions. So, like, he's... Maybe he's even lying about his back problems. So that people will not give him a lot of work. I don't know. <laughs> like, I feel like he's... I don't know. This way. Uh, my bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel. With some of his things in it. Aww. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Hey, rattle him or give him some kind of understanding what his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since... Well... That time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. Damn. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Hello. Dutch, Hello. least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for... We were on a very bad path. And Micah Bell dragged us into the abyss. Mm. It never ends well. Gangs like ours don't ride off into the sunset. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He... Uh... He used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Yeah, the Italian guy. Oops. Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. 
On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> Okay. Did I just kill a random person? No. No, I didn't. Right? Come on, John. It was like four of them. Yeah. Hey -ya! Okay. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. No, Hold on. No. You know what I find really funny? Oh my god, my cat is going crazy. You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. Santa Nee ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No, we can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You okay. see anything? Sorry for another pause, but I wanted to mention this, but I kept forgetting. I it, I find it so funny how Arthur could hardly breathe, like he was just dying, but he still kicked Micah's ass. That's all. I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple... John Charles! <laughs> you boys been off getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for but home. But my horsey! <laughs> But my horsey is over there. Can't even kill a dying man. Yeah. It was very stinky. This is so cute. Ah, feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. There he goes. what I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail, I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. He's so the mean. He's got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house a lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's... I mean, yeah, but I, I think he could have delivered that in a better way. Touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Okay. On me. Oh my god, we are actually destroying it. Almost. Got it. <laughs> See? I told you, 
there wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? There's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. Fifteen naked cowboys. Hold on, guys. There's a beggar. We have to film. <laughs> we have to. Uh, we have to help him and film it for YouTube. A pork chop and a gun, and I'll do us all of these. You there? Help, help me out with anything. Don't use this anything. for liquor, all right? You gotta take it. You gotta give him your house, Mr. Beast. Partner. I'm all alone. I'm building a house for Mr. him. Uh, uh, Ooh. I'm gonna die all alone with nothing, nothing to show. Uh, boy. Building a house for 100 Watch it. blind beggars in Saint Denis. Girl, one more time. Oh. Hello? Is this where I need to go? Hey there, mister. Come on in. Oh my god, it's Sadie. Hold on. I thought I was getting materials for my house. <laughs> oh, I'm wanted here. Okay. Oops. Hmm. Give me a car. How you doing? Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. Arthur. You, uh... Got any work? Yeah. I mean, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine. James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. Langton? I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on. Mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. So this is going to be a knee hee hee quest. This horse looks skinned. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch? It's something else, you know. Ooh. You gotta come up there. Ain't had any trouble. 
some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, want to talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, yeah, with the with I the ain't husband. So good with people. Uh, the offer's there. Whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket round me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. I mean, but he I was, was very charismatic, so... Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. I blame someday, Dutch for being a dumbass. I hope we'll find him. But... Not now. Come on. It's like... People do blame Micah for kind of beating him, but... Like, a good leader does not... do what he did. <laughs> it's fully his fault. Micah is a butthole, but it's fully his fault. Micah is just a, like an ass kisser. Yes, man. So that's what he There's needed to feed his ego, I guess. Over most of the country. They'll be down there. So, James Langton, the bounty hunter, Got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. I lost his mind. You know, I've been doing some I think Dutch was always a bit like power hungry. He liked being in a power of uh, in a place of power like leader and stuff like that. He was very charismatic. Um but I think there was a bit of like both maybe. He got really power hungry. He got very desperate. Lots of things went really bad. Um People started doubting him, just stuff like that. And I think he slowly just like started to lose control and his mind because I don't think he was. Like, I think he wanted to have a good like functioning gang um, where he would not have to make certain decisions that he did he, that he made. But I don't think he was like a bad person in the beginning. Things just went really out of control and he started getting really paranoid and like losing his mind slowly um but yeah yeah i think yeah like things going wrong feeding into his fear paranoia mike i was also making him very paranoid like feeding him being a yes man like telling him that everyone is like doubting you probably like you can only depend on me you know just things like that so he 
like did not even know who to trust that's why at the like at the end uh with arthur he did not go with micah he just left <laughs> and i think that's when he realized how much he fucked up um so instead of like going with micah or saying anything to arthur he just left um so bounty hunting of my own since i last saw you i ain't gonna make a habit of it we cut off here i do think that he regretted it but i don't know we'll see i guess if we like find him or something this is the place it's a view all right Ooh. come on let's go take a look down in the valley yeah, I think Micah is a very smart character. He is just very evil, you know? Like, he used his smarts in a very bad way. But yeah. This is so cool. Cinema. There they are, down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. How does she see anything? Where do you think they're heading? Uh, come on. Oh, oh, Let's go here. Uh-huh, okay. I was confused for a second. Back on your horse, let's get after them. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's no use for him. Even Micah says a thing practical now. Aside with Micah, at the end knows that uh, chaos it caused. Yeah, it's just very sad to see how the only people who were not kissing his ass and would call him out when he was wrong or going insane, like all of those people were like his enemy. Hosea, you know, probably like eventually I'm sure he would get really hostile with him if he was alive. Like all of us, um, John, Arthur, like they just all called him out the way it was, but Micah kept, kept kissing his ass and just yes manning him. So, bad. go. No, you can't come here as Arthur. You can. I've tried coming to this area, but instantly I had a bunch of, like, um, cops after me. <laughs> People were just, they would see me on the map and just kept chasing me, so I couldn't explore anything here. Oh, there they are. We follow and keep an eye on them. He's talking to a horse. My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. The canyon opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. It took me so many hours to explore this entire area. Up here, get off your horse. This might be our chance. Yeah, they're stopping. 
And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Him over there. Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. We're there. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them? Start shooting at them or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Can we threaten them? I reckon you threaten them and I'll cover you. Okay. Get over there and... I'm trying to change... Hey! Um, like, our hey! ways. James Langton, you robbed me. That bastard is mine. Give it back to me or I'll murder every last one of you. I'm gonna give 10 seconds to walk away. 10, 9, 8, 7. <laughs> okay, never mind. For some reason, I thought we could like go down and maybe talk. I don't know. Oh, so we run. Let's go. I cannot aim without my dead eye. I'm so bad. your throat, I think. These insults are insane. Kill every last one of you, Langton. Shit! 
That damn harpy. Harpy. Come on, it's time to collect. Are you with her? What's it look like? Okay, you're taking Finley. Let's go. Get him on your horse. Hell no. <clears throat> I never said that. <laughs> Let's go for a ride. It didn't work out for you before, woman. You should let me alone. Down the canyon. Let's ride. Above us on the bridge. More ammo. Come on, more them. Blur, blur, and blur. There are help me! What the hell? Do you guys know if there was ever like a cowboy gunslinger gang made out of just women? Yes. Ooh, and it's pretty. I need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. <sighs> I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just mm. because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. Oh my god, he's gonna pee on my horse. How did it work ain't easy, Joan? No, but I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hi, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. I remember that name, uh, Dion, but I don't... Hmm, I don't know what that is. But I, that on. sounds very Jail's familiar, though. Almost there, Finley. This, uh, I got nothing to do with this. Souls-like game. Oh, it's the new one, right? Hmm. I have not really seen much of it. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. You're a bitch. Thanks for the fellows, guys. Welcome you in. Brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Mm -hmm. What game did I say I want to play next? So I'm going to be doing uh, Amnesia Dark Descent on a hard mode because they have a really hard difficulty that I have never played. And after that, we're going to be playing uh, Last of Us. So... Sir? <laughs> Sir? Ah, bastard! Uh, I hate you! One Do with I the just door. drop him here? We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing! Yeah, yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh. And James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> uh. 
You want this money to go to the bank too? No, I'll uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. 200 baccaroonies? Someone save me! Look who it is. May I direct you to that bounty poster hanging on yonder wall there? Hmm. What is Skinner? Dead or alive? Okay. Um, put away. Otis Skinner of the Skinner Brothers. Well, well, well. It said they took the pelt off a pelt hunter southwest of Manzanita Post. Well, I shall try and hold on to mine. Very droll. In all my years of policing, I haven't encountered men such as those. Makes me wish I'd retired some time here to four, if I'm frank. Well, good luck and Godspeed. Which game is MDE? Because I know that the TWD is The Walking Dead. Otis Skinner. I'm assuming he's the head of this gang. They're the Skinner brothers. The clue's in the name, son. The gang doesn't have a head, except and... I'm sorry to be gruesome, except if you count the ones they cut off. Well, tell me about him then. I don't know if he's a savage, a mountain man, or something else. I just know he's made a fair old mess out of everyone's gone after him. And it don't look like he's planning oh, on stopping. Yeah. Hmm. That may not be his plan to make. I'll see what I can do then. You gotta bring that one in stiff, then so be Take it. Your time. Just bring him in is all. The last mission. Oh no. <laughs> oh, uh, I forgot to buy some ammo. They're here for Otis. They're here. Find them. Put the dog on it. Bloody bounty hunter. Okay, that's him. We can we have to avoid killing him. Okay, where are they? I have to kill a dog? Oh no. Hold on. Oh, this is bad. I didn't think. Do I have a miracle? This is why I prefer cats. They're here for Otis! Find them! Put the dog Where you die, cocksucker? Get it down! I'm moving! Oh, oh wait, I can jump on him! Hold on, it's, it's more. It's more. Hills have eyes. You'll be a me. Look at me in. This is just the way it goes. You know how much you're gonna make me, Mr. Skinner? It won't be worth that what I'm true. gonna do to you. Well. <laughs> Guess we'll see about that. <laughs> oh. 
Bonk. There. Let's go, girl. Hmm. You love this game? It's so good. This ain't over, mister. Not by a long shot. You ain't out of the woods yet. <laughs> Not even nearly. Stop. Damn you. You're going to die, friend. Die. Damn it. Okay, where is where is the eye? Where is the eye? Ow! Game definitely goes into my favorites list. You can't see them, but they're here. <laughs> they are watching you. And when it's time, it's gonna be quick and it's gonna be messy. You think you're on top, but you'll be begging me, mister. Begging me! Overcomes by force, hath overcome. I'll be quiet. What the heck? How did this happen? Here we go. I thought I had a nice balance. He's alive, right? Beat the horse. Yeah, he's alive. You know what to do, girl. Don't you want to be free, huh? You're a slave to those people. They give you gold. You give them bodies. You're a dog. A servant. Peon. A wretch. A nothing. You're nothing. You're nobody. Wow. Whoa. I ain't even here. I'm so surprised that none of my horses ever died so far. Not my concern. Not my concern. Look out! I got Otis Skinner here for you. God damn, get him in the cell already. Well, girly Ain't pop doesn't count. Little jail yeah. House. <laughs> Only the best one. Be comfortable enough. Yeah. God damn. God damn. Teddy, no! I got your bounty money here. <laughs> Hi, Ty. I'll take it. You should know there has been a cessation in the issuance of bounties in Blackwater. Apparently, we have the budget to build a city, but not to protect one. Oh, is that it? Maybe this meant that it's the final bounty mission? 